All right, guys, this is uh, Turbo Suburban Update 3, and probably the last update that's going to be labeled Turbo Suburban. Um, I have posted some stuff last night um, about, you know, uh, about having putting the turbo on it and all that good stuff. And um, everybody's saying it ain't going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. There's always going to be a problem with it. I am going to try and rejet the carburetor. And see if that works. And if it doesn't, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to try and get it to work. But if it's going to be too much money, I just don't have that kind of money to spend, you know. So, at that point, it'll get a 7 horsepower Duro Max with a upgraded jet. So, it'll probably be about 8 horse. Um, so, I'll have like basically an 8 horse Duro Max. Uh, electric start. Um, and I'm going to put a cool custom exhaust on it. So, that's the plan as of right now. So, now, these updates are going to be called um the built suburban updates because i am still going to build it i'm still going to redo the rear axle even though uh my buddy jeffrey uh, has informed me my suspicions were correct that 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 the splined rear axle that i got does not fit in the in the super 12s and i i thought that i was like you know what i'll trust this guy um uh, I'll trust uh, I'll, tr I'll trust Glenn that it would fit in there, um, and um, it doesn't. So whatever, no biggie. Now I got an extra transaxle for the 16 um, or the 99, whatever happens. You know I got that extra transaxle. I do have an ST12 um, uh, tra transaxle that I could put in there, so that might be coming up soon. I don't know. I don't even know if that'll fit. You know honestly. Um, we'll have to see what happens, you know, whatever. Um, but now it's just going to be built suburban, um, update. Um, so I am kind of clickbaiting the titles a little bit, but that's all right. I'm just trying to get some damn views. <laughs> but, um, if you guys want a BDM garage decal, hit me up. Um, I'm selling them for pretty darn cheap. Um, I think they're going to go for about $7.00. I think for that size, um, I am paying the guy, uh, here's the, here's the 6.0, I'm paying the guy, uh, five bucks, uh, plus shipping, so I'm not gonna be making any money, I'm just gonna be barely breaking even, so it is a good deal, but if anybody wants those decals, hit me up, let me know, um, and, uh, this tractor's gonna be having an update soon with a new nose cone from James, um, and I think that's going to be it for this one for a little while. I'm going to work this one. Um, I'm getting new ags for the 72. Uh, so now the 72 will have ags. Um, the 72 is also going to be getting the rear wheelie bar off of um, this track. But I think it's going to be, I think it's in the same, or the top two are in the same position. I just have to drill out the bottom two. I honestly don't know. Um, but this is a cool pulling uh, bracket wheelie bar. But I figure I can try to freeze those wheels and then use it. Um, but other than that, that's really all I got for you guys today. So I'll do another update once I get the Predator motor and the Duramax motor today. Um, other than that, that's really all I got for you today. Thank you guys for watching.